In a universe so vast, is there any hope of us traveling fast enough so that we could visit the far off realms of space? Will we ever be able to plant a flag in the most distant quadrants of the cosmos? We are not going to achieve interstellar flight in our lifetime. We may be as far from reaching other stars as Leonardo da Vinci was from realizing an airplane. He had the idea, but it took another 400 years before that began flight. Even so, it hasn't stopped scientists from imagining the theoretical possibilities of interstellar travel. One such possibility is a cosmic freak show, a much theorized portal through space called a wormhole. So a wormhole is basically a thin tube of space that connects two very, very distant parts of space. So it's almost like a tunnel. It's a little part of space. You go in there and you pop out somewhere else in the universe. A tunnel through space. A shortcut through the billions of light years separating the farthest ends of the universe. It begs the question of how anything could bore a hole through space. A wormhole is basically like a tunnel through space itself that can connect one region to another region potentially very far away. So to illustrate that, we're taking space and imagining it as this two-dimensional sheet of paper. So we have a wormhole mouth that you can go in. And then the other end is a place you can go out. So you imagine a tunnel that goes into there and comes out of there. And you might say, well, it would take me longer to get from one place to another if I went through that tunnel than if I just took the direct route through ordinary space. But the point is that Einstein tells us that space and time are curved, they're flexible. So we can imagine picking up this piece of paper and curling these two regions so that they're close to each other. Then you go into that end of the wormhole, you come outside the other end, and there's a shortcut in between them in which the distance is not that much. So the wormhole provides a way that you can travel what appears to be a very long distance in a very short period of time. And it's for that reason that wormholes have found a special place in science fiction. If you want to write a science fiction novel, you might want to be able to get across the galaxy very quickly, and you don't want to be limited by the speed of light. So a wormhole can be a shortcut. It can be a way to get around all of the space that you have to travel through. If you believe that the speed of light really is a speed limit, you can't go faster than the speed of light, a wormhole provides you a way, maybe, to still go slower than the speed of light, but get to where you want to go much faster because the distance is much shorter. It's really just a shortcut through space itself. A wormhole might also empty into another time. That's because wormholes are portals through the fabric of space and time. While they could theoretically link different locations in space, they could also theoretically link up different locations in time. Because space and time are mixed up together, you could actually not only end up in a different part of space by going through the wormhole, but you could also end up in the past. You could end up in a different part of time. You could go into your own past and then come visit yourself before you entered the beginning of the wormhole. So you could have a wormhole that goes from your living room to your dining room. They might be five years apart. So you enter one this year, and you come back five years ago. And if you take the paper with you, you've got some good chances of doing well on the stock exchange.